Now, there was a big cloud by us. We even have a cloud, uh, which was said by Yishach HaCham to David HaMelech. Levilti Yidach Mimenu Nidach. No Nidach. No one will ever be rejected from Klali's side. I say this because according to my pshat, um, Gechazi never had a Yeshua, never has hope. He'll always remain a Messiah, him and his children. And uh, however, uh, I saw something in the pre Tzadik on the Haftarah, from Tzadik HaKayim, and he said that the Klala of the, the Klala was the Klala was that Utras Naman Tzadik Bechau Venecha Ad Ayelam. However, they were Zaycha to be healed by it in the Schus that the bit Tshuva over here, and they told the Psayra Tayv. That's how, this is the gang that Chatzadik has. I, what, what does it do with the Klala of Elisha? I don't know at this point. However, Zichel, that's certain that Chatzadik is right. That they were, or they will be, in due time, relieved from this Klala. There's no such thing as a Klala on a Ben Yisrael which is lasting forever, for Eilam Haba, forever. No such thing. La Yidach Mimenu Nidach. No one would ever go astray. No one would ever be lost from Klal Yisrael. I'm a little afraid to repeat this, but it's Torah, and I'll venture to, uh, to utter it. I heard from, Rav, uh, from my rabbi, Rav Faiwa Mandalavich, is a chayna levracha. He said it from the Ariyat Kodesh. I don't know the makar to it. I don't know where the Ariyat Kodesh says it, but I remember it distinctly. That it said over from the Ariyat Kodesh, that even Aisai Ha'ish will have a tikkun after Hamishim Elif Yaivalas. There's no such thing as a yid going astray. Really, the Gemara says that Elisha overdid something over here. There's a taina to Elisha. The Gemara says, like Elisha, shadacha as geichazi b'shtayadayim. But like Rabbi Yeshua ben Prachia, shadacha as aisaya ish b'shtayadayim. The story is, we don't have it in our Gemaras, it's censored, because our Gemaras, the, the Gemaras which we have, were printed in Vilna under the Russian government. And the Russian government censored uh, all the Gemaras. They had Meshamadim who, who looked over the Gemaras, and they took out whatever, they, whatever um, uh, wasn't uh, to their taste. That's why you always have the word Akum uh, in the Gemara instead of guy. The original word is guy. But they put an akam. Ayved avayt as kechavam amazolais. It wasn't referring to today's guy, and it certainly is. Uh, this is a Jotan Mochumish printed in Russia about 130 or 40 years ago. So in the back we have the davening. So in by the Berchus HaShachal, we have Berchat HaShem Alekeinu Melech HaAilam Shelo Yassani Ayved kechavam amazolais. It was censored. The brachas shalay asani gai, and that's what happened to the Vilna Gemara. It's akum. In fact, in, in, in the in, in some prints of the Vilna Gemara, the Gemara in Shabbos and the Sugi of Shavuos brings the pasuk vatan tioli mamaleches gai nem v'gai kadosh. And this censor was a big amara to nishkvus v'stutzach, so we had him print v'yakum kadosh. Um, <coughs> So, um, so this piece of Gemara isn't censored. The Gemara tells us that Aisa Yeish, that Yashka, was a Talmud of Rabbi Shua and Prachia. Um, and 
We have it not Spanish in Gemaris, no, the old Gemaris and the old, and the old, pub, uh, and the old uh, publications. Uh, the, the, um, the, that Isa Ish was a Talmud of Shubnam Chachi, and they came to a certain uh, restaurant and they ate, and he made a little remark about the uh, balabast of the restaurant that I never tried twice. Her eyes are crooked. She hasn't got uh, beautiful eyes. So, Shubham uh, became angry at, at him. He said, that's what you're paying attention to? You're looking at Nashim and, 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 uh, and you're interested whether they have nice looking eyes or not? I don't want you anymore as a Talmud. Avek. So, time after time, Isaiah came back to Rabbi Shivam Chachia and he said, Please, Rabbi, accept me again as a Talmud. And he refused. Once, uh, after being begged so much by Isaiah, Rabbi Shivam Chachia decided, If he's going to come back to me once more, then I'm going to accept him. And just then, to sein Mazel, Rabbi Shivam Chachia was the middle of Leine Krishna. And he was saying, Shema Yisrael Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad. And just then, Isa Yesh came. And Rabbi Shur Abchachia would have accepted him then. And, but he couldn't, because he was in the middle of Krish. He was saying, Shema Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad. So, uh, Isa Yesh said, No, you don't want to accept me. Isn't it? And he became Isa Yesh. And he was the one who was Kaifer and Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad. So the Gemara says, like Rabbi Yeshua ben Prachia Shedacha Aisa Yesh Bishta Yadai, the Gemara criticizes Rabbi Yeshua ben Prachia. He should have accepted Aisa Yesh and, and accepted his children. And because he didn't, we're suffering at Hayyim Azeh. Now, of course, Rabbi Yeshua ben Prachia did what was Ashgacha Sabayra. But the limit is that Laizu Hadarach. We don't reject Yid who want to do tshuva, no matter what they did, even if he's a Yashka, even if he's a Isayesh. And the Gemara says also, and not like Elisha. Elisha rejected Geichazi because of a few Avayas that he did, similar, uh, rather similar to uh, um, uh, those of uh, Isayesh. Also with Fayyigash Gachazil Hatfa, with the women like the Gemara says in Brachis, and with the. But um, in other words, Gachazil should have been Murza the Tshuva, but Elish didn't do it. Later already, he went to Damasek, and he wanted to be Marzim the Tshuva, the Gemara says, but it was too late. He was a Messiah and he couldn't heal him anymore. And he couldn't go back to Klal to Yisrael. However, we find a very noteworthy Indian in, in this, in this Aftayah. There's a Gemara in Avodah that deals with the Dinam of Rufuah. 